The program, which focused on the fundamentals of the sport, was coordinated by the National Sports Commission in partnership with the Ministry of the Presidency's Department of Social Cohesion and the Guyana Amateur Swimming Association. According to Supervisor of the Colgrain Pool, Desiree Cummings, the objectives of the camp were to help the participants to learn the art of swimming, remove fear from those who are fearful of the pool, and to recognize their hidden talents. 570 youngsters participated in the six-week program. They split in two to undergo training at the Colgrain Pool and the National Aquatic Center. Delivering feature remarks at the closing ceremony was the Director of Sports, Christopher Jones. I impress upon the parents, guardians, that entering your children into the summer program is essentially the commencement of what we at the National Sports Commission hope to be a long-term investment in your children. But like many of the years before, we see a continued trend, which is not in the positive, is that parents or guardians sees the swimming program as simply an opportunity of which they get rid of the children during the day, to put it bluntly. But essentially this program is geared for us to identify Guyana's best talents as it relates to swimming. In driving home the point of having a steady flow of new talents in the sport, Jones made reference to the Guyana contingent that placed fourth among nine nations at the Goodwill Swimming Championships in Suriname. But like every sport, in order for it to continue to grow, we have to identify the new talents. And it has to start at what we call the grassroots. At the very tender age, you heard Mr. Passad made mention that in those Goodwill Games, Guyana was not able to participate in the under eight category because we had no under eight swimmers. And I'm pretty sure amongst the lot that we have here today, you have children who are under the age of eight. So if you as parents or guardians do not continue your children in these programs or sign them up to be part of one of the swim clubs, you will be robbing that child the opportunity to represent the nation. The director further implored on parents and guardians to maximize on the opportunities provided by the Sports Commission and by extension the government to sharpen the skills of young boys and girls across the country. To whom much is given, much is expected. By virtue of the fact of this investment being made by the National Sports Commission and by extension the government of Guyana, we expect from you parents and guardians that you will join one of the, you will enroll your children in one of the clubs so that we will have the opportunity to prepare them to represent this nation. In swimming the world over, like many other sports discipline, young professionals making millions of dollars as a swimmer. I can tell you now that His Excellency the President's grandson, Hannibal Gaskin, is one of Guyana's national swimmers. We can produce them, and it is just for you, the parents and guardians, to bring them out to the aquatic center and have them join one of the clubs and let us take care of the rest. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Afanash Ramsan.